So we mentioned earlier that the outliner shows the contents of the scene and any hierarchy that's in there. So right now we've got five objects in this scene, two 3D meshes, two cameras, and a light source. And objects have a shared set of properties. So we've got now the object properties shown over here. And if we select different objects, regardless of the type, you can see that whatever is present here is more or less the same. So this is the 3D transformation of the object, things like visibility in the scene, etc. But of course, the 3D mesh is not the same thing as a camera, so there must be a difference somewhere. And this is actually one level below in the outliner. So if we click open these objects, you can see that each of them refers to a different type of thing called object data. So the camera object refers to camera object data, the light to light object data, etc. And you can see the differences being reflected because now we've got the object data properties visible here. And for a light, there are things like color and strength visible, but for a camera, it's field to view or the type of camera where it's perspective or orthographic. Now, this hierarchy in the scene can have more levels than one. For example, we can have an object and then have a parent of that object. So if we select the two bunnies, the last object selected with the bright orange outline is the active object. If we press Ctrl P, we can set this bunny to be the parent of that bunny. And that's reflected by this dotted black line over here. You can also see it in the outliner that this bunny now has the other bunny as a parent. And that means that if we move this bunny, the parent bunny, then the other bunny moves along. And in this way, you can have really complex hierarchies of objects that need to move together or that need to move relative to each other. Um, and it really depends on the scene whether you want to have parenting or not, but it's good to be aware that this can be the case within a scene. And then the scene actually has another level of hierarchy, which are the so-called collections. Now a collection shown over here in the outliner is a container that can contain, for example, a bunch of objects, or in case of the scene collection all the way at the top, it can contain another collection, which then in turn uh, contains objects. Uh, when you're starting out using Blender, you don't really need to worry about collections and parenting, but it's good to be aware that the scene can be organized in several different ways. Uh, sometimes when you get files from other people, they might use parenting or they might use multiple collections. Um, and when you get more advanced in your own usage, it can be a good way to organize the many objects that you have in a scene. For example, by creating multiple collections and then having collections that you turn on and off in the scene, etc.